first in two days I'll be taking videos from New York from like a, possibly my safest weekend of the year. I was at the last year. It's actually a four-day event this year. They added a Thursday. Going for the This one over there. Yeah, today I'm not cosplaying. I'm wearing my part of the We're going to see a planetarium to see the human natural history. Two things. First, Neil deGrasse Tyson teaches you every space show the Museum of Natural History does. Second, can do things. Kind of a bit of information overloader, the sensory overload right now. Because the first day, different show floor, and that sort of thing. Sure. Wow. I'm only here for about a couple hours a day, and then I'll be around tomorrow. So day one, part one, well really it's day two, it's day one for me. Day one, part one is over for me right now. But hold on, I got a phone call. Hey Jenna, what's up? Oh, you are? Where are you right now? Where are you right now? Because I'm, I'm here at the Javits Center. Yeah. Alright, see you in a moment. Bye. That was interesting. That was one of the things I wanted to talk about. So, I'm now in the peculiar position of being a co-captain of an athletic team, the Macaulay Quidditch team, along with my, my friend Jenna Jankowski at the College of Staten Island. It's our first meeting today. In the information session that people can find out how awesome Quidditch is. Another thing that I find awesome, the other day um, over the World Financial Center in Lower Manhattan there was a concert with the Brooklyn Philharmonic uh, with, among other people, most deaf. The third thing, I went to MoMA last night and went to see a screening of Attack the Block, which is this cool British sci-fi gang movie. I actually saw over oh, the summer in August um, they had a preview screening of that. But they had a screening of it MoMA, I saw it the second time. Director Joe Cornish was there. He's also working with Edgar Wright and Stephen Moffat on the Tintin. He's written the Tintin script. That's another cool thing. It's coming out on DVD soon. So I'll put a link to the Amazon thing on that DVD. It'll probably be on Netflix for those that have Netflix. Bastards. But yeah. And I see you later. It'll be Saturday and I'll be dressed up. And now it's Saturday. Good morning, Quidditch fans. It's Saturday. I'm dressed up today. I was playing as Sherlock Holmes, consulting detective, the only one in the world. But of course, Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, incarnation of Sherlock Holmes from the show Sherlock. I have made a little button that said consulting detective on it. And the, in Sherlock's website that was used on the show, I find it funny that Sherlock Holmes for a website and John Watson had a blog. I'm a bit, a bit late to the con today, so that's a BM34. Which, on one hand, it's fun to take because of the fact that you see all the people in costume heading to the con, but on the other hand, it's god awfully slow. For the record, the Holy Quidditch meeting went really well. Follow us on MHC Quidditch on Twitter. Michio Kaku is going to be at a panel. Uh, about the upcoming season on the Science Channel. I saw skin, bone, cartilage, noses, ears, heart valves, a complete bladder. The first windpipe was grown last year. And get this, in the next five years, we will grow the first liver. So for all you alcoholics out there in the audience, there's still hope. Comedy, this is the piece where it comes from. Uh, the way this would work is this piece comes off a 32 caliber blank cartridge be put in here in the small pin here. Uh, be put back on there and then at a uh, sideshow, at a carnival, vaudeville, uh, or fraternal lodge, a perhaps dwarf clown or someone come up to you and hit you and boom, it, it would explode and scare the pants off you. Hilarity would ensue. That's a slapstick. <laughs> That was such a great deal right there. The science panel. Dr. Kaku and folks from Oddities. I've been to Obscura. It's a great, it's a really fun place. And Rod Roddenberry, who I'll probably be seeing later if I can. If I don't get into the um to the Avengers panel, we go on the Roddenberry Presents Pizza Party. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
Thanks. Uh, Thank you. All right, so I'm back from Comic Con, and I just wanted to show you some things that I got. I got a lot of pins, most of which were free, like. This one from the Quirk Books booth for Taft 2012. Apparently they're doing a book where William Harry Taft comes back to life. We are the children of light. I can't even remember which part of Artist Alley this is from. It was from somewhere there. This was... This is, it's a cat wearing a gangsta keychain, a gangsta necklace. I almost said keychain, which makes no sense at all. One from MaddieCollector.com, which is location appropriate. One from Dark Horse Comics. One for something called Wereworld, which sounds totally badass. Pizza Squad, I thought it was kind of nerd fighterly, and also something I personally join. And finally, I'm the Doctor. I work in a shop now. They gave me a name tag so I don't forget my name. I find it incredible that only like three or four weeks after the episode closing time, some dude actually made name tags for both. The Doctor and for Stormageddon. Other things! I got this, quotable facts about America's Libraries 2010 from the ALA booth. You know that 59% of adults in the U.S. have public library cards. It says it. It says it right here. Right here. Sticker I picked up along the way. It says PH Geek. Dissertations in Geek Culture. It's a website called phgeek.com. I'll check it out because it sounds really cool. The quiz thing was an event um, today. It was, and I was teamed up with a couple folks I just met at a table um, where they were holding the big quiz thing that I go through out of Fordham University in the Bronx. So those are cool folks. So Lyle and Shan, I think their names were. It was fun being with you and the Fetus Kickers. That was our teammate. Redless was in the house this weekend. They, they still are. Um, so I got a note card slash coupon for, there we go, coupon for $10 off a purchase of $20 or more and some stickers. I didn't get stickers when I ordered my t-shirt before, so I finally got stickers from Dreadless. Bookmark from Ms. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I still have to read. It's by Ransom Riggs, who writes for Mental Floss occasionally, so I've read his work before. He's a very interesting, very strange guy, so I'd like to see his writing in novel form. Dead Bat um, is a website from the That's where I got the Dr. name tag from. It's a Hellboy mask. I think this is pretty cool. Preview Comics from... Dark Horse. Geeks Out, which is a cool LGBT community comics group um, and being an ally for LGBT persons. I thought this was pretty cool, so it's going on my wall. It's like Wall of Stuff 3.5. This is a weird drawing I saw. Bookmark for Fraggle Rock Volume 1. Awesome. Three different Star Trek comics I got yesterday because I am a Star Trek comics geek. I have all of these on DVD, but I got them anyway. In fact, I got Star Trek The Next Generation number one, but I gave that to uh, one of the folks at Macaulay. I got Star Trek issue number one, Star Trek Annual number one, and Star Trek Unlimited number ten because it just seemed like a very interesting issue. I mean, it does say it's the most offbeat title ever, so it has to be very interesting. There's a free comic given out called Helvis, so I'm gonna have to find that eventually. The poster from my brother from Attack of the Show, because D4 had a booth there. Pretty sure my brother watched Attack of the Show, and if he doesn't, he's getting it anyway. Poster from the Sci Fi Channel version of Being Human, and I know people are gonna deride me for having watched part of the US show and not, the, not a lot of the UK show, but you know what? I like the US show a bit. And the girl who played the ghost was pretty cute. I'm just saying. And finally, this is actually from Thursday night, but they have been giving it out in the Marvel booth. Attack the Block, the poster. So, yeah, that's cool. That's what I've got at Comic-Con so far. Comic-Con is not yet over. I still have one more day left, and that day includes the Portlandia panel with Fred Armisen and Carrie Brownstein. So I am super psyched for that. I am putting more stuff on my Tumblr page, gpex.comer.com. I'll put a link to it in the doobly-doo. And Katie, I will see you tomorrow.